Welcome back to this week's Intivix Office 365 Tips and Tricks. So let's talk Office 365. The evolution of Office 365 has been nothing short of amazing. Well, of course, that's just my opinion. But with their upgrades to make working in their native apps such as PowerPoint, Word, and Excel easier, how could you not appreciate the ever-evolving Microsoft Office suite? How many of you have ever worked with PowerPoint and completely gave up? because you felt so out of touch with your creative side. Well, you're not alone. And I'm pretty sure Microsoft felt bad for those of us lacking artistic inspiration. Not only did they provide templates, they also gave us PowerPoint design and they made it easy so we can focus more on the content. Let's start by launching our PowerPoint and choosing a blank template. Of course, you may just as easily choose from one of the hundreds of templates provided. When you first launch PowerPoint, it will bring you to their featured templates. If there's something you like, click on it, then click Create. Otherwise, you may browse through their suggested templates at the top of the page. Choose a category to browse through and click on it. To the right of the screen, you will notice the categories are listed here so we don't have to go back a screen to view the other categories. But today we're going to work with a blank template. And working with a blank template does not necessarily have to be as terrifying as it used to be. So let's say my family, extended family and I are all trying to plan a vacation together, but we cannot agree on a location. So we've decided to use PowerPoint where we will each have one slide to sell our destination to the rest of the family. We'll start with our title page and build from there. I'm not necessarily sold on this title page, so I'm going to change it by right-clicking in the left-hand column and choosing Layout. Now I'm going to add a picture. Watch what happens when I input my picture. If you'll notice to the right, design ideas automatically pop up. PowerPoint Designer improves your slides by automatically generating design ideas that you can choose from. This is my title page and I really want the picture to stand out. Keep in mind that even if I choose one of these design ideas, I can still make my own modifications. The first option happens to be my favorite design. Now let's build. Add a new slide. Let's add a picture of a place we would love to vacation. Once my picture is added, I can look at the design ideas. and Now I can add my title. And now we can add content as to why Bali is a destination of choice. Let's add one more slide. Even though I've added two pictures, the design ideas will still populate. But as an important note, PowerPoint's not meant to overload your audience with visuals. It's your job to speak to the pictures, the videos, and the content that you've created. So keep it simple on your PowerPoint. Otherwise, the design will not know how to help you. Another way to get to the design ideas is by clicking design and to the far right you can click design ideas. This is the message that you'll receive from design ideas if you've entered in too much content. Now we've really started building on our PowerPoint and there's some type of symmetry and consistency to our design. As you can clearly see, Microsoft has made PowerPoint design user-friendly and easy. There are many more features within PowerPoint, so keep a lookout for our future tips and tricks. Thank you so much for listening and I look forward to speaking with you again next week.